if you do enjoy my FIFA content or you just love saying I'm shit at FIFA in the comments, then click the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have got a flat FIFA flashback. So we haven't done it in a while, so I thought we would do one on the console, but this kind of one is kind of different because we're doing the FIFA flashback of the League One team of the season. If you want me to do the Serie A team of the season flashbacks, leave a comment down below or leave a like on this video. Um, I'm not going to do the ones at the bottom, I'm just going to do the ones in the starting 11. So, um, yeah, if you see, you'll see the card, no, his first ever card next to his card now, and you can compare the difference. Um, but his card isn't that much different. I don't know if this is upgraded or a t or a informed version, but this is just a high rated card he had in FIFA 10. So, it wasn't that much different. There's only one rating below, which he was an 89 rated. Um, the stats obviously are better on here, but yeah. That we have got Marquinhos. Uh, he was uh, his first ever card was in FIFA 13. So quite a lot of these are uh, not from FIFA 10 because they're quite young. But Marquinhos uh, still plays for the same team. Um, but he was a 68 rated centre back. Um, probably most of you wouldn't have gone near him because he's got that uh, 66 pace. But obviously here he's got 85. And then we have got Thiago Silva. Obviously, probably one of the best centre backs in the game. Um, but back in the day, his first card was a non-rare, 80-rated centre back. Um, and then we have got Perrin. He was also a non-rare gold. He was a CDM um, with 73 defending on his FIFA 10 card, 76-rated. Uh, still plays for the same team as he does now. Um, and then we have got Maxwell. Let me just Maxwell used to play for Barcelona but then he does his his teammate Ibra he used to play for Barcelona back in the day with um, at FIFA 10 but he was a left wing back naturally and then we have got Tulalan again he was a gold non rare CDM um, still a CDM he's obviously he got 84 defending back then which is incredible for CDM uh, he used to play for Lyon so he has changed clubs uh, unlike some of the others as well, yeah. Um, and then we have got Payet or Paye. Um, his first card uh, was on FIFA 11. Yeah, he used to play for Saint Etienne. I think that's how you say it. Wrong way. And then we have got Pastore. He has had a decent card. Like his first card was in FIFA 12, and he was an 85 rated. His first card, and he was an 85 rated player. Um, but yeah, and then we have got Blaze Matweedy. He had a 77 CDM. I think I'm pretty sure he's always had the stats as a CDM, but he's actually a centre mid on his card now. And then we go on to the main man. We've got Ibrahimovic. Back in the day, same rating as his normal card on FIFA now, a 90 rated. He's playing for Barcelona, of course. Um, yeah, and then the last one, we have got the man himself, Lacazette. This one is a big one because if you look, his first card was in FIFA 12. He was a silver. A silver. In like, what, three years, he's gone from a non-rare silver to a bloody 90 rated team in a season. How the hell does that work? Like, I can't even look. That is the team of the season flashbacks. If you want me to do more of these, then leave a comment down below. And also, don't forget to hit that 20 likes target. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.